Nestled amidst the cornfields of rural Illinois, you'll find something entirely unexpected. A $93 billion company founded in 2009, the upstart California-based Amazon-backed EV automaker, Rivian, purchased an abandoned manufacturing plant in 2017 in Normal, Illinois for $16 million. Fast forward to 2021 and Rivian is delivering its first electric trucks, the R1Ts, and SUVs, the R1Ss, to customers across the United States from this facility. With plans to expand manufacturing capacity at the plant to 200,000 vehicles annually and to ultimately reach a production volume of 1 million EVs per year by 2030, Rivian seems well positioned to enter the EV market as a major player, perhaps becoming Tesla's most successful and vigorous rival yet. Join us as we take an inside look at Rivian's first and currently only manufacturing facility based in Normal, Illinois. Also, please be sure to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for updates every time we upload new content. Now let's get right into it. Key to Rivian's success will be its in-house manufacturing capabilities, with long-term plans to have at least four assembly plants across the world, one additional factory in the US, one in Europe, and one in China. Rivian seems to be modeling his future growth after Tesla, who famously rejuvenated an older GM Toyota plant and currently has five gigafactories and numerous smaller factories spread across the world. Mitsubishi and Chrysler originally built out the 500-acre site in 1988 via a joint venture called Diamond Star Motors. Mitsubishi would eventually buy out Chrysler and operate the facility on its own for nearly 25 years until 2015, when it ended production of the Mitsubishi Outlander at the facility. At its peak production in 2000, the facility's annual volume was 220,000 units. In April 2016, the site was sold to Maynard's Industries for $2.5 million. On January 3, 2017, Rivian purchased the 2.4 million square foot abandoned factory and its manufacturing components for $16 million. The goal? Rejuvenate the nearly 30-year-old facility into Rivian's principal North American production location. Rivian's decision to buy a nearly ready factory rather than develop new manufacturing can be compared to Tesla's EV journey when it started its EV production with the purchase of the Numi plant in California. According to McLean County records, Rivian, through an entity named RA Land Holdings LLC, paid approximately $16 million for the facility, the 500-acre site, and the manufacturing equipment. Rivian told local authorities that it had plans to invest more than $40 million into the plant by 2022 and begin building EVs there by 2019. In December 2016, just prior to the purchase, the local government entered into a project development agreement with Rivian and awarded it a $1 million grant and a five-year tax abatement. Contingent on the company investing $175 million and hiring at least 1,000 people by 2024, the purchase included the land, buildings, and equipment inside the facility, which included stamping machines, injection molding equipment, robots, CNC machine tools, cranes, and other equipment. By purchasing the facility in near-ready manufacturing condition, Rivian positioned itself well to deliver on its promise to the county to build EVs by 2019. Notwithstanding these lofty goals and despite months of manufacturing delays due to the coronavirus epidemic and semiconductor chip delays, founder and CEO R.J. Scaringe drove the company's first R1T pickup off the assembly line of the Illinois plant for customer delivery in September 2021. Our team's collective efforts have made this moment possible," Scaringe said in a Twitter post. Can't wait to get these into the hands of our customers. The R1T is the first all-electric pickup truck with a 300-plus mile of EPA range. Rivian recently welcomed visitors to its production site in Norma, Illinois by opening its doors to the public. Rivian is a self-proclaimed, vertically integrated, original equipment manufacturer, or OEM. What this means is that unlike many other automobile manufacturers, Rivian actually manufactures many of its own vehicle components instead of purchasing them from third-party suppliers. For example, as part of Rivian's purchase of the facility, it acquired six stamp presses from the old Mitsubishi plant. Rivian retooled those presses so it can use them to stamp both aluminum and steel. This means that Rivian has the capability to stamp nearly 300 distinct body parts for its three current EVs. For Rivian, this results in the crucial ability to control its own quality and most of its own raw materials, which results in design changes being made on the fly and quicker delivery times. Vertical integration necessitates the availability of space, and lots of it. Accordingly, Rivian has already expanded the factory by roughly 800,000 square feet, bringing it to a total of 3.3 million square feet. 
Field states that the company intends to expand to over 6 million square feet in the next few years. Rivian intends to extend the building's south end westward, all the way to Rivian Motorway, in order to accommodate battery and motor operations. Rivian also maintains two storage facilities related to the plan, one close on College Avenue, 300,000 square feet, and another in North Normal on Carrick Road, nearly a million square feet. Perhaps the most crucial component in EV manufacturing is that of battery cells. While Rivian currently sources its battery cells from Samsung, recent rumors suggest that Rivian's second factory in the U.S. will produce in-house developed battery cells. Eric Fields, Rivian's vice president for manufacturing, who previously spent 13 years with Nissan, has claimed that the normal facility is like Google and Toyota had a baby. In reference to the co-mingling of technological advances and traditional manufacturing found at site, Rivian is a non-union workplace where workers start at a wage of $20 an hour. For comparison purposes, union workers at Ford Chicago Assembly Plant and the Belvedere Jeep Plant start at $17 an hour. Additionally, all Rivian employees receive restricted stock units in Rivian. Additionally, and perhaps in homage to its California headquarters, the Rivian plant feels more like Silicon Valley than it does Detroit. It has skylights, live pine trees adorning the glassed-in stairwells, and creative repurposing of the old Mitsubishi plant. Equipped with a coffee shop, an interior cafeteria serving three meals a day at no charge to employees, and a factory floor has been described as a living mural. This facility isn't your traditional auto manufacturing facility. Says a Rivian spokesperson, We want to ensure there's almost no shadows, a bright, white, clean environment that inspires the quality and also provides a nice atmosphere for everybody working here. Recruiting engineers into manufacturing is becoming more and more tough because it's not as glamorous as working for Google or Apple or some of the other high-tech areas, but we're applying a high-tech approach to manufacturing and making it much more attractive to engineers. Rivian intends to run two shifts six days a week, with rotations, so the workers work a total of 40 hours each week. The body shop, battery, and drive unit sectors are now operating on two shifts, despite the fact that paint and general assembly can fulfill current demand on one shift. With nearly 2,800 employees, the facility has quickly risen to become McLean County's third largest employer, after only State Farm and Illinois State University. Rivian has stated that it plans to recruit between 4,000 and 5,000 workers in normal in the future. With 100,000 customer delivery vans for Amazon fueling production and expansion, Rivian is well positioned to take the next step of mass production of its EVs. Additionally, having already met its commitment to the county to hire 1,000 employees, it expects to have 3,000 to 4,000 employees in normal by the end of 2022. Let us know what you think of Rivian's crown jewel manufacturing plant and its future in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.